The Model T was the eighth car produced by Henry Ford. He used all the good points from the previous models to produce the Model T. Known as the Tin Lizzie, the Model T was the first car built using mass production methods. When first introduced, it cost $850. It was the first car that was affordable and reliable for the ordinary citizens of the United States. By the time it was discontinued in 1927, over 15 million Model T's had been sold. My name's Gordon. I've been a member of the Model T Club of Great Britain for 25 years. Our Model T is a 1925 Tudor saloon. It was imported from America. Its last owner lived in Lubbock, Texas. I saw our car at the dealers and liked the look of it. My father had a couple of Model T vans. I bought the car in late 1992. I started to work on it in 1993 after I had a new garage built. It took two and a half years to restore, working on it evenings and weekends. To start this Model T, there is a process to it. First you must turn on the petrol under the bonnet. Then open the throttle slightly. Pull out the choke control. Crank the engine with the starting handle till petrol flows from the carburetor. Turn the ignition key to the battery position. I like driving it as every time you get a sense of what it must have been like driving a car in the 1920s. Driving it is different to a modern car as performance is limited and braking even more so. Can be a bit scary when somebody overtakes them brakes hard. I have used the Ford Model T at other rallies and for weddings and parties. These events let the public get close to exhibits and talk to owners. They also benefit with additional information about their experiences with classic vehicles. Today, young people who are interested in cars, it's quite important that they look at old cars like the Model T and understand how it was developed. The Model T wasn't the first car to be mass produced, but it was the first car produced on a moving production line. And since then, all cars have been done likewise. The Model T was voted the car of the last century. It brought motoring to the masses and the cost of cars down. If it wasn't for the construction of the Model T, I'm not sure how transportation on the road would have turned out today. Owning it and restoring it has been a lifetime's wish, really. Uh, it's something I always wanted. It's never let me down completely. It does play up occasionally, but if you've got a little bit of knowledge of cars, it's easy to repair. Quite easy to live with, spares are readily available. It's been a whole pleasant experience.